Hello, hello, hello. I believe we are recording. I wanted to just say a few words about something that I've personally experienced issues with in the past a lot. Uh, and it's related to energy and stress and adrenaline. And um, I, I've noticed with myself and also when I see other people, uh, there's so many things that we do um, in our lives um, that contribute to adrenaline being released in our system and it's all it's easy and almost hard not to get addicted to our own adrenaline right it's almost like some of us are operating from um, a constant state of stress and I feel like it's been like that almost my entire life <laughs> that I've been, <laughs> that I've been uh, running on adrenaline and what happens uh, with adrenaline is that it's very corrosive to the internal organs um it can do it can you know affect the internal organs negatively the liver the the not only the adrenals but also the liver the the uh, the heart um, and many other organs too that are negatively affected by uh, us being hooked on adrenaline um and there i think there are many things that uh, that we do on a daily basis or regularly that we don't know triggers adrenaline to be released, toxic adrenaline to be released in the system. Um, because as the medical medium teaches us, there are 56 different um, blends of adrenaline and those are released um, in response to different situations that we encounter in life. And in an ideal world, the adrenals would secrete just the right amount of adrenaline uh, for what the situation requires. But sometimes, you know, when our adrenals get fatigued and tired, they can start behaving erratically and start either produce too much or too little of the hormones that are needed and not the right amount. And that can cause a host of different health issues. Um, and adrenal fatigue is one of them with lack of energy, but also, you know, depression, uh, because adrenaline also burns away at the neurotransmitter chemicals that like dopamine that we need to feel good. Um, so, so, um, um, Running on adrenaline is not a good thing. Adrenaline is supposed to be something that's uh, being used sparingly, that's used in a, in, in a situation of an emergency to save our lives, right? But more and more people, and I, me included, right, seem to be addicted to, to adrenaline. Um, and what happens is that if we do every, like about one and a, one and a half hour to two hours after we've eaten a meal, our, our blood sugar, uh, the glucose in our blood will run low. And what happens then is that if we do not eat anything that contains glucose, um, the adrenals will kick in and start producing adrenaline to compensate for the lack of glucose in the blood. And this is one of the things that contributes to adrenaline um, running continuously. And that's why you would see, uh, you know, some people, you know, when they fast, they say, oh, I have so much energy, I feel so good. Um, and that's, because they're running on adrenaline in a lot of cases, unless they're running on coffee, <laughs> which also releases adrenaline. Um, so um, what can we do um, to prevent adrenaline being adrenaline being released in our system? Well, one, one, um, one of the things that we can do that the, the medical medium teaches us is to graze. And that is, and specifically to, to he mentions, um, um, ad, um, adrenal snacks that we can eat and um, there are three things that we want these adrenal snacks to contain the first one is sugar or glucose and um, we're not talking table sugar or processed sugar we're talking about fruits uh, like the uh, uh, sugar found in like uh, fruits or berries and the second one is uh, sodium and we're not talking table salt or even sea salt we're talking we're talking sodium that's found in that's found found in for example celery or uh, spinach um, and the third one is potassium, uh, like uh, what we can find in a date. So I wanted to demonstrate for you <laughs> what an, an adrenal snack. So for example, we have the, an apple, which, which are amazing to eat and include every day if you can, uh, which is the glucose, the sugar. And then uh, we have the sodium in the celery. And we have the potassium of the date. So this is, makes a perfect adrenal snack. Um, another example of adrenal snack can be banana, my favorite. I can eat like six or more bananas every day, which I normally do. Bananas. Um, 
which has the glucose, the dates that has the potassium, and we can do, I have here a little plant of romaine. So this also bakes. You would you would do a bit more of romaine, but, but it's not, not much left of my plant here. So, um, so this is another example of an adrenal snack that will help prevent adrenaline being released in the body uh, when our glucose is starting to run low. And also I want to say that glucose, like in bananas and apples, actually is works as a cutoff switch for unwanted adrenaline production in the body. So something to keep in mind if you feel you're running on adrenaline. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that. And it, if uh, you are in certain situations that cannot be doing the adrenal snack, um, then the, the, another solution can be to do coconut water. Make sure it's not pink or red because those are rancid, not good. Um, and also make sure that you read the ingredient la label. I always like mine to only contain coconut water. That's it. Nothing else on the ingredient list. No, nothing, no unnatural flavors, nothing added, not even vitamin C because those can be, they're not going to put high quality vitamin C in a, in a coconut water. It's going to be like the a version that can be even abrasive to, to the gut, right? So my, mine has organic coconut water, 100%. So if you're in Texas, this is a good one. I love it. That is uh, another example is water with lemon. So you would squeeze the juice of one lemon into 16 ounces of water, and then you can add a teaspoon of honey for the glucose. And that's also, um, if you cannot get your adrenal snacks, this is also a good solution. And you know, when you do this, when I whenever I do this and I notice like, oh, that it gives me such amazing clear energy when I when I remember to to do my my uh, lemon water with raw honey. So try it. It's really good. Well, hopefully uh, this was useful to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.